championship tomorrow, battle for Atlantis. This is a legit top 10 team. Uh, right now, they're number eight in the country. There's a lot of history with Gonzaga Hoops. Basketball is king mecca. They don't have a football team and all that stuff. Their fans are freaking annoying because they win their conference every year because everyone in their conference is straight trash, doo-doo, whatever you want to say. They're coming off of an overtime victory over Oregon. A lot of guys played a lot of minutes. They went seven deep. Can Michigan do it? We'll see. Gonzaga is fourth nationally in scoring. Part of the reason is number three, Philip Petrusov. Played 40 minutes tonight against Oregon. Had 22 points and 15 rebounds. Uh, Average 20 on the Serbian U18 national team. So he's a legit dude. He is for real. So their go-to score when they need a bucket. He's going to seal inside. Doesn't shoot a ton of threes, but he's definitely capable. Uh, He's going to seal inside. He's going to work. He's going to use his moves to, you know, pivot around. Teske... Teske, Castleton, maybe even Davis. Like, we need to send multiple bodies at this dude. He gets tons of touches. Guys need to stay out of foul trouble. He shoots six to seven free throws per game. Went eight for nine tonight against Oregon. Really good ball player. Gonzaga does a lot of things really well. Uh, Number 33, Killian Tilly, is like the representative of that. Uh, He had 27 minutes versus Oregon. He fouled out for the ninth time in his career. Uh, He's had a bit of injury issues in the past couple of years. Don't get it twisted. This is a really good player, like a really, really good player. Inside, outside guy. Um, Didn't shoot it well versus Oregon, but he definitely can. He's a career 47% uh, three-point shooter. Uh, When guys are hurt with their lower body, uh, they tend to shoot a little bit more outside. Um, He shoots great from three as you can see so he may start to shoot more perimeter jumpers we have to be ready for that Gonzaga is one of the better three-point teams in the country one of those reasons is number 24 Corey Kispert he's a 6-7 wing played about 42 minutes tonight um of the 10 shots he takes about 61 62 percent come from three you got to know where this guy is at all times um he is a bit of an athlete, too, but he's a really good ball player. Number four, Ryan Woolridge. He played 41 minutes versus Oregon. That's the second most of anyone. Mark Few really trusts him. He's a transfer from North Texas. Has struggled in Atlanta so far. Six points on one for 12 shooting. He's still at 64% from three on the year. But he's very, very capable just by how many minutes he played in a must-win game against Oregon. Gonzaga overall has a really thin backcourt. Brooks, DeJulius, Simpson, I mean, even Wagner have to take full advantage against them. Kind of in contrast of Ryan Wildress is uh, number 11, Joel Ayayi. He's a 6'5 guard, and as much as Woolridge has struggled in Atlantis, uh, Joel has been lights out. In two games, he has 34 points, 14 for 20 from the field. Out of nine threes that he shot, he's made six. He won. He played 31 minutes versus Oregon. Just a smooth operator. Kind of operates in the shadows a bit because their front court is so good. But he's a very good ball player. Another guard here is going to be number one, Adam Gilder. He played 20 minutes versus Oregon. He's a bigger guard. He's a Texas A&M transfer. So that team that lost to Michigan a couple years ago, he started that game and had 10 points on 11 shots. Uh, For Gonzaga, he scored in double figures pretty much every game except Atlantis. In Atlantis, he's 3 of 11 and 2 of 9 from 3. So, yeah, this dude is going to be a bigger guard, man. Uh, Can slash, can get to the rim. Uh, I don't think he's going to shoot a lot of jumpers, which Gonzaga likes to do. He's going to change the pace a bit with just his aggressiveness towards the basket. And last of the seven-man rotation is going to be number two, Drew Timmy. Uh, he had 23 minutes tonight versus Oregon. Really nice player. Uh, 6'10 forward. He's top 50 recruit. Freshman. Uh, highly rated out of Texas. Um, he's going to come in and give Tilly and Petrusive a breather. Really nice skill set. Uh, good work in the post. Uh, decent jump shot. Not from three, but just from like mid-range. He's, he's averaging about 11 points and six boards for the year. A really nice player and a really nice recruit for Gonzaga.